In this problem, I'll start by multiplying the dt to the other side. I'll get dp is equal to p minus p squared times dt. Now I'll divide that term to the other side. I'll get dp over p minus p squared. And that'll be equal to dt. Now I'll take the integral of both sides. And on the left, one of the p's will factor out from the denominator. So it will be p times 1 minus p. And that'll be equal to the integral of dt. Now on the left side, we can use partial fractions. So it'll be a over p plus b over 1 minus p is equal to 1 over p times 1 minus p. So it'll be a times 1 minus p plus p times p is equal to 1. It'll be a minus a p plus b p is equal to 1. So it'll be a is equal to 1. And it'll be a it'll be negative a plus b is equal to 0. So b will be equal to a, which is equal to 1. So it'll be 1 over p plus 1 over 1 minus p. I'm going to take that integral. That'll be equal to the integral of dt. This term will become ln of the absolute value of p. And this one will become that minus ln of 1 minus p. It's negative because of the chain rule, with the p being negative. And this will just be equal to t plus c. Now when you have two ln terms subtracting to, to each other, you can take what's inside and divide them. So it'll be ln of p over 1 minus p is equal to t plus c. Now we can take the exponential of both sides. This e will cancel with the ln. So we'll get p over 1 minus p is equal to e to the t plus c. Now this term will become e to the t times e to the c. And e to the c is just equal to c. So that term will become c e to the t. So that'll be p over 1 minus p is equal to c e to the t. Now I can multiply the denominator to the other side. We'll get p is equal to 1 minus p times c e to the t. I can distribute this to both those terms. We'll get p is equal to c e to the t minus p times c e to the t. Add that to the other side. We'll get p plus p c e to the t equal to c e to the t. We can factor out the p. So it'll be 1 plus c e to the t is equal to c e to the t. And then lastly, divide that to the other side. We'll get p is equal to c e to the t over 1 plus c e to the t. And that is your final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.